Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton back in the back garden. It's isolation swing tip series and this is probably one of the most common faults I find so many golfers do when they're playing in windy conditions is basically try and hit it too hard. So we're going to talk a little bit about maybe different sort of swing speeds to control the spin on your golf ball. We've got GC quad on the floor here so we're going to measure some spin numbers as I just alter my swing speed and see how we can get some more control of that golf ball in windier conditions. Okay, so how many times do we see, or probably you'll be able to notice this possibly yourself, is when it's windy, especially when that wind is into, how do how hard do we try and hit that golf ball? We know subconsciously we're going to lose distance because it's the wind into, so we're obviously going to be changing club, hitting more club to try and make up that loss of distance, but at the same time, I think we all get sucked into that, trying to absolutely muscle it. Now, we, the harder you hit the golf ball, obviously there's, there's maybe a, a a control aspect we possibly will lose in the golf swing and timing obviously with which can affect strike and shot direction but also then the harder we hit it the sport actually spins more and we're talking about backspin here so if this ball spins more what it's going to do is going to try and climb more in its flight and obviously we don't want to do that we want to try and keep that golf ball under control keep it down a little bit more get it sort of piercing that wind so we're going to try and take some spin off easiest way to do that is to swing slower and softer so i'm going to hit a couple of shots here i'm going to hit a normal i've got six iron here i'm going to hit a normal six iron speed uh, we'll look at some spin numbers and then i'm just going to reduce a little bit of speed on my shot i'm not going to do anything different in my actual setup because obviously sometimes we can um, when it's windy, play the ball more back in stance, more that punch shot, lead it with a handle. I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just going to basically change my, my speed of the swing. Okay, we'll see what happens to the actual spin. So let's hit a couple of shots first. Just normal, full, six iron. Okay, so you can see there the spin, five, seven, four, seven, and that carried out at 169 yards. Okay, so we can see on that one there, you see 5,739, 177 carry distance. Okay, so they're typical numbers I would see from a standard full swing, sort of six iron for myself. So what I'm going to do now, as I mentioned before, I'm just going to take a little bit of speed off these. So I'm going to hit this more of like a three quarter sort of feel and just relax the acceleration through that impact area. So obviously we're going to expect to see a short distance because of the ball speed is going to be lower, isn't it? But obviously if you're hitting into wind, you're going to be changing your club as well, aren't you, um, to accommodate that. But we're going to keep it the same loft and same iron just to sort of show you the difference of the obviously spin just through a, a difference of speed into the golf ball. So let's hit a couple now. So as I say, a little bit softer, not quite as zippy through the bottom. Okay, so that carried out 166, so we're about sort of 10 yards further down then. The spins just dropped quite a bit there. Okay, so you can see there dropping down at 5129, carry at 166, ball speed just obviously down as we'd expect. You see actually launch angle down a little bit at 15.4. So that's the other advantage you're going to see when you're reducing your club head speed is your launch angle is just going to come down a fraction as well. So if we could reduce that spin, reduce a little bit of that launch, obviously that ball's going to come out with a bit of a flatter flight through its journey. Okay, let's give another one a hit. Okay, so we can see there, spin dropping down to 4.782. Still keeping that carry around that 1.68 mark, 1.17 ball, launch at 16 degrees. Okay, so you can see there clearly when we just reduce that little bit of speed there, we can just maybe just control that launch a little bit, but more importantly, we drop that spin by up to probably about 1,000 revs there. So that just helps that ball to come out a little bit more flatter and just hold its height. So it's not trying to spin and sort of peel up into the air. Again, if you imagine you're hitting into the wind this direction, the wind's blowing this way, you're hitting that way. We spin it more, the wind just sort of squeezes that ball up, gets to the peak, we lose the control, drops, and we're a lot of distance lost, isn't there? So if we can just drop it and get it to go through the wind a little bit more, then that's going to help you to sort of get a control of the ball, obviously, through those windier conditions. So try not to be drawn into that, I need to hit this really, really hard, actually swing it a lot easier, a lot smoother. Maybe obviously change your club as well, but control your spin, you'll see such a, an easy controlled flight through that wind. 
Okay, appreciate you watching the video as always. If you found that really helpful, do comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried that? Do you feel like you swing really hard into the windy conditions? Interesting to hear your thoughts as always. So fire your comments down the section below. Okay, so I am offering online lessons at the moment. I've got 20% off. A lot of you guys are taking up on that offer and then we're helping a lot of you guys out there and making some really good progress. So if you're interested in that, jump in the comment section down below or the description down below. There's a link there where you can go and purchase. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully we'll catch you up tomorrow for another Swing Tip series.